Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be going over some photos that are coming from Canada Graphs, and there's quite a lot of spoilers and big things that we need to break down, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so this is, again, coming from Canada Graphs. You can check out his blog and his Twitter in the description below. I'm going to be reading off his blog and also pulling up some photos on the screen to kind of match alongside them, and we'll briefly discuss them afterwards. Also, I have a couple of theories about what's going down because this is definitely some mind-provoking stuff that actually went down the other day when they were filming on The Flash Season 8. Okay, so... This is how it goes. So at the beginning, they had Jesse L. Martin as Joe West there doing a scene with someone we heard was coming back. That being Rick Hosnett, of course, as Eddie Thorne. So that was announced just the other day. If you guys remember, we actually made a video on that. But to begin, they rush in an area in their police car. So they're both in the police car, that being Eddie and Joe. Then Eddie goes running off with his gun out while Joe stays behind. In their scene, a man comes out of a jewellery store just covered in jewellery. Joe and the crook then have a standoff where the crook tells Joe he has a real gun with real bullets while Eddie was off to the side hiding behind the tree. Then two more characters come in, Jordan Fisher as Bart Allen and Jessica Parker Kennedy as Nora West Allen show up. Something startles them. They then have a debate about what to do. Then Jordan rushes in and does something to the crook that takes the gun out of his hands and Joe goes over and arrests the guy and Eddie comes in to collect the gun off the ground. And so that was more or less everything that they shot. So the big things to take away from this, obviously before we start getting into the theories, is this is a flashback scene, supposedly, and we have Joe also with his partner Eddie, which is very logical if this is a flashback scene. But nevertheless, it's great to see Rick Cosnett back in The Flash. But it doesn't seem like this is the normal timeline. And that's because Bart Allen and Nora West Allen are here. Obviously, they have a history of time traveling. And they are definitely not around in the year 2014. So 100% this includes time travel. Considering the fact that they are here. Obviously, if they weren't here... Then we could be like, okay, maybe this is an actual flashback scene where it's just Joe and it's Eddie and they're taking down this criminal with the Christmas hat, as you can see on the screen right here. But by the looks of this next photo and what was said in Canagraphs' blog, it seems like Bart goes into flash time and basically runs as fast as he can, which is obviously slow motion to the criminal and also to Eddie and Joe, and he's able to disarm the guy before he shoots at, you know, Joe and Eddie, and obviously there is some sort of startling going on, like, they're kind of, what should we do? That's the kind of situation that they're in, because they're, I guess, tampering with the timeline, they don't want to change it too much, and obviously just them being there is dangerous enough, so they got to play it very safe, and it seems like they think maybe this is the best way to go, or perhaps it's a brash decision by Bart to run in and interfere, also, what Bart is wearing here, as you can see right here, definitely evokes Earth 2 Barry. And I think everyone who sees this will be like, yeah, this looks like Earth 2 Barry. So I don't know what is going on here. Like, is this on purpose? Is this an accident? I guess since it's similar to Earth 2 Barry, I guess a relevant question is, is this our normal Bart? Could this be an alternate version of Bart from another Earth? And is this the consequence of what happens in the Armageddon crossover? Definitely seems like there is some sort of playover because in the Armageddon crossover, we know that there is going to be time traveling. We're going to go back to 2014 and do lots of stuff like similar to this, actually, it seems. But nevertheless, the startling goes on in this photo, the thing that I mentioned. And so it seems like they are absolutely shocked. So perhaps they see, say, Joe getting killed or maybe Eddie getting killed. At this point, they realize, oh crap, the timeline, they're not supposed to die right here. Eddie is supposed to die at this point and Joe is not supposed to die, period. So we need to run back in time right again, back to this exact moment and fix this by disarming the criminal before he shoots Joe or before he shoots Eddie. And that is the kind of look and the kind of vibe that I'm getting from them to screaming the heads off in this shot. So they are utterly shocked. Okay, so yeah, that pretty much does it in regards to the photos. 
However, they're going to obviously keep on flicking through as we go on to my theories. Okay, so Nora and Bart, they are obviously time traveling back to before, it seems, Barry became the Flash. And why do I say this? Well, you have Joe and Eddie working as a team. That happened, yes, whilst he was becoming the Flash, but we don't have Barry here interfering, so I'm going to take the liberty of presuming maybe this is going on during Barry's coma, so during like 2014 that would be. And it's also interesting, as I mentioned previously, that in the Armageddon crossover, we know they're going back to before Barry was the Flash, and we're going to see him probably in his coma in 2014. There was a newspaper on the set where there was a 2014 date, so it seems like maybe they go back once again, but this time obviously it's Bart and Nora and not Barry or not Reverse Flash or whoever it turns out to be in the actual crossover. Now... Do I think there's an alternate timeline? I think there's a very, very strong chance there's an alternate timeline caused by Bart and Nora, basically their own flashpoint. So you got Eddie and Joe who potentially meet Nora and Bart, although in this scene it doesn't seem like they actually see each other. It seems like, yes, Bart and Nora are kind of spectating Eddie and Joe's actions to try and take down this criminal and they interfere, but they try and do it sneakily so they aren't spotted. So you can kind of tell that they are time traveling, they don't want to interfere with the timeline, although they have to get a little bit dirty in order to make things right. And so obviously they are from the future, like no way on earth this is actually going on. And it's as they've described and they've been advertising this as a normal flashback episode, definitely not. There is definite consequences to Barry's speedster kids going back in time and committing certain actions like interfering in this battle that could mean basically they're going to be creating something new and obviously that would be a new timeline but could it make a rival out of the newly reborn Eddie Thorne? Now this could be their version of the rival who remember was created by Barry's effect of him tampering with the timeline and creating Flashpoint and that created the rival so what happens if this is actually the origin story of Eddie Thorne becoming Cobalt Blue? Because basically, they realize, oh, we've messed up. But then that version of Eddie doesn't exist anymore. And what happens if somehow he's tapped into some sort of greater presence and he realizes that he's in another timeline, similar to how the rival did that in season two? I presume that could bring on a great vengeance towards Barry and Iris's kids. And that would totally fit the MO of being a completely very personal villain to Barry and Iris that could test their marriage. Obviously the return of Eddie is going to be like a very sticky situation for them because they're not going to know how to kind of react, especially if he turns out to be a villain. So I'm really sticking to this idea, I do think that now with the return of Bart and Nora, this kind of emphasizes, yes, it's likely that we're going to probably be getting Cobalt Blue this season with the return of Eddie, and then Nora and Bart messing with the timeline. Definitely a rival situation could be going on here, but I've got another theory. So if it's set in the present day, now I don't think it's set in the present day, but just take it with a grain of salt. If it is set in the present day, what we're seeing right here, and the timeline has been changed because of Bart and Nora time traveling, potentially resulting in Joe still being a cop and Eddie still being alive, it could be possible that this is actually what's going on and, you know, just everything is completely messed up and this is their version of Flashpoint, as I mentioned before, but maybe in present day rather than a flashback or you know, them going back in time necessarily. And basically this would act as Flashpoint 2.0 and I definitely think that that would be a great story and I hope it actually goes down like this. But yeah, so it's Christmas time. Obviously you can tell by the perp wearing the Santa hat. And if we are to presume, and again contrasting my second theory, but this goes with my first theory about, you know, this potentially not being a flashback episode and you're having the big timeline changes with Bartonora being back in the past. So with it being Christmas in potentially 2014 when Barry's in the coma, that's very possible because I don't believe actually Barry was awake by then. So maybe this is actually 2013 and then he wakes up in 2014. So 
What do you think about all of this? I know it's a lot to kind of take in and maybe I emphasize myself a couple of times here and there because, you know, the theories are kind of similar. It's all really to do with timeline changes. But I really do want to know what are your theories down in the comments below about Bart and Nora turning and also Eddie Thorne, of course. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. That really helps out the channel. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. You can also become a member of the channel to support the channel. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.